The day has finally come. We're farming. We're farming. Hey, Janet. We're farming. Oh, it feels good to smell the fresh air of Iowa. Feels fantastic. I've kept the 72 F-250 in the shed since the day I quit farming back in mid-80s, late 80s, for this day. We worked our butt off, town job, we made right investments, we did everything correct. And it's time for Buck and me to get back into it. Over the past 20 years, we've, we've, we've had a pretty good job, made some good money, and now have $2.5 million saved up. Again, we bought a little bit of uh, Microsoft back when Bill Gates was was proven to do something. That guy can do anything. He can sell anything. He can build anything. Buck? How you been, buddy? <laughs> it's good to be back. Indeed it is. Yeah. Give me a hug. Uh, come here, you love muffin. <laughs> oh, uh, gosh, dang. This is only, this is a nice truck you got here. Picked it up back in town. Hmm. Traded straight up. How many miles it got on it? 10K. Oh, gosh, dang. That's not bad. See you repping the decalp stickers in IH. Uh, yeah, that's the only one I think I might have to take off. But the rest of it's all got deer and everything else on it, so. Nice. It's, it's, I still got my 70, 71 back at the at the house, or still kind of transferred some stuff over. Yeah. I'm out here with Holland and Sons still, so they got a new dealer that's going up out here. Hmm. Dude, we, big, got, big we, we got out at the right time. We got out at the right time. That was uh, a... You were looking the devil in the eye the last three years, you know, three years after we got out. Guys were going through some tough stuff. Holy mm -hmm. crap. I, I lucked out on the matter that a lot of the stuff that I did with Holland and Sons, we made it through just fine. We didn't really have that much going on. There. I think all the stores are still open. Yeah. So we we were struggling for yeah. a bit. But yeah. in the end, I think we ended up getting out there. So they got a new building that's going out, building up another one. And I think they're building... I think they're renovating the one that they're up back up in Westby, so... Yeah. I mean, Danny's, our neighbors Danny's, Johnson's, Kedrick Farms, those guys all got... They got knocked out in the 80s. Yikes. Yeah. I mean, Jeremy, he was a good dude, too. He was a good neighbor of ours. I mean, where are you going to be... Where are you building out here? Because I've actually been out here for the past couple of years. Yeah. I mean, you, when you gave me the phone call and stuff to, hey, come on down to Iowa, I didn't have the money at time. But what Microsoft did over the past three years was kind of nice for the retirement. Oh, yeah. And I'm just risking it all. We're taking the retirement and everything. And we're going well, after I it. Say, I got in some of that Berkshire Hathaway, so Warren Buffett's doing oh. me some good. Yeah, Buffett. Bu Buffett's a great investor. And he always will be. He can never predict growth. He never predicted Apple or anything like that. He always does good, but any new technology that comes by, the guy is just so skeptical of it and has not understood it. But with all being said, he understands value like crazy. Oh, yeah. You, my friend, need to go get yourself a nice little place built up. I heard we got a good contractor down at the lumber yard yeah. on the opposite side of town. Well, there's 20 acres for sale just in between uh, Moore and uh, Burksville. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's right yeah, on the yeah. highway I there. That. I was thinking that'd be perfect. Oh, most definitely. Would you ever want to put put a house up on the farm if we just put it build together? I mean, I probably could. Right now, I'm kind of set in town on a little guy. I yeah. got at least a garage. So if if time comes and you want a lot some land for that, I'll definitely do it. Yeah. But as for right now, I think I'll stay at least where I'm at until you can get your stuff built out. Okay, sounds good. I would say you want to smoke, but gosh dang, doctors telling me to stay away from those things. <laughs> probably shouldn't have been we're smoking those back say, back in the eighties, there. you know. Yeah. So I think we're getting up there. Yeah. yeah. COPD's going to start kicking in. Yeah. They'll put a six foot under pretty soon here, so. Here, help, have this help you out. Oh, now that's the smoke we're talking about now. <laughs> well, I'll catch you in a bit, bud. Yep. We'll see you, Buck. Oh, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. So right now, it's the mid-2000s. Um, It's the 2000s decade, and that's the decade we're farming in. Right now, farmland is actually a little bit cheaper than it was at the peak of the 1980s. Believe it or not, 20 years later, if you bought the peak of the 1980s, getting into farming, you would still be down on a net basis right now, which is crazy. So, fairly good time to buy into uh, buy back into farming. This 72 pretty much has not been touched since the day we, we got out of farming. I kept this in the shed, kept the 1206 loaded up, Someday, after I came home from work, I was like, someday we're going to get back into farming. With that being said, the 72, should we keep it, guys, as a work truck? Or should we uh, 
put her to rest and get a different farm truck. You let me know. Ah, there's 30 acres here. Um, was hay ground. It's good soil, but it's for sale. And I'm thinking we might try and buy this. And if we could buy this 30 acres here, small little 30, for 106,000, not bad. Really not priced bad at all. And then we could buy field 21. Not really looking at some big fields. Maybe 16 or 18. But for now, I think this is where we're going to put the homestead. We got grain locations right here. Uh, Farmers Cooperative. And then we have uh, County Line Grain over here. Which is perfect. Book! Must be in his work truck. I think he's got 2008 F-350. It looked like a brand new one. We're not going to go crazy giant with the farming operation, but I got some ideas. But we're going to jump up into heaven, get building this dream. Crazy nights, I figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's breaking. Change your mind, trying to save your time. In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list, girl, you can skip this funny business. Cause up there it's complicated and overrated. Down here everything is understated. That's alright by me. I got everything that I need. Here's the tour. I need to find a few better decorations to make this work perfect. As you can see, landscaping took most of my money. Like, leveling out land cost me like half a million dollars, probably. Uh, there's a couple more decorations. I want to get a lot more American flags in here, like flagpoles, a couple other things. But here's kind of the farm setup so far. Nothing too crazy. I'm running out of buildings. I don't have that good of buildings. So maybe in the future, if I find some more better buildings, like US buildings, I will put them up and kind of replace some of these out. But what we got set up is we got the house here, the farmhouse, of course. Nice house inside. We do have TVs. Nice TV. Super nice house. The reason we use this house is because we can actually walk inside of it. That's the reason I keep using this house. No, Very few other houses I can walk inside of. Got kind of a nice... I got to level out the lawn a little bit. Got a nice driveway up here on a hill. Oh, yeah. Works perfect. Garage pretty much connected to the house. That'll be nice. You walk out here in the main yard. It's kind of a hilly farm. This is extra cold storage. I don't know. We'll put some implements in here. And why do I feel so small? Everything feels giant and my human character feels small. Anyways, you go out here in the yard. I could probably move this shed a little closer. This is going to be the main shop slash shed. Walk in here. 60 by 120. Can pretty much fit anything inside of it. 
yes, I always accidentally do some grass inside and need to fix that up, areas like that up. Um, this will be a perfect shed. Most of the time, we'll probably leave this door open. This will be like our shop, pretty much. Uh, this is 60 by 120. Of course, the end door here. Um, wrap around, true cold storage. But this will be cold storage. I don't plan to go too big. We can go a little big with the farm. We'll see. And then we have commodity storage. If we get any animals, we have that. Or it'll just be used like to store implements, pretty much. Our bin setup. I would like to get bigger bins, kind of, and expand this area. We'll see what happens here. We do have a dryer. So, I gotta figure out, I saw this and I was like, oh, I gotta put this in here. And then, we have three Brock bends with vertical and load augers that are gonna work perfect. And then we got some souk up bends back here. Um, I gotta kind of figure out this unloading system because we're kind of on a hill here. We'll figure that out. But then you go down here, you have the old dairy operation. We will see if we will be using this or not. I gotta figure it out. I wanted to put some animal stuff in here. But if I could find like a, a feedlot, that's what I want to get into. A cattle feedlot, like a farrowing lot, or a cattle beef lot, like kind of like we had in the 60s, love to get into. And then we got um, just another commodity shed down here. This driveway kind of wraps around this hillside. And then eventually I have a ramp up here that ramps back up. Now we do have, this also wraps around here for the bins. When we run wagons or trucks or whatever we run, you can wrap around the shed that way. That is the tour for now. Hey, there's Buck! I will probably, coming in the next episode, I will probably change out some of these buildings. I'm going to do some searching, looking for some good buildings. If you have any, send me to them. I may change out one or two buildings, I bet. But, these computers, I got a laptop, picked them up. They're pretty darn expensive. We'll check out what we got for equipment coming up, or what we could buy for equipment. When we go to small tractors, of course we have the 1206. Great tractor. We have some older ones on this on the online catalog. Um, some 4020s. We got some old stuff. Some 5020s we could buy. Could buy a case 2394, 2594. Wouldn't be a bad tractor to buy. Huh? Yeah, there's no way I'm buying that one. 20 series John Deere. Wow. They got a, even a 30 series. I think this is like a year old. This has to be like a year old. I'm guessing. 8960. There's a lot of stuff we could be buying. We'll see. We'll check out. We'll run down to Holland and Sons sometime. Maybe, heck, maybe tomorrow we'll run down to Holland and Sons. Check that dealership out. See how Buck's doing down there. But yeah, this is the farm, guys. Seriously, hopefully you guys enjoyed this build. And hey, I'll see you in the next episode of 2000s.